to show you how to do the base that I use for the vending machine. I use a styrofoam that's about an, an inch thick and I just uh, trace around the vending machine. Pretend that box is the vending machine. I just use a pencil. With the actual vending machine I use a much larger piece of styrofoam. And uh, then I just take the box cutter and I cut very deeply through it. I use the largest setting for the blade. And this styrofoam is very soft, so it cuts like butter. Then I will peel back the styrofoam to expose what's still connected, and I cut through that too. Now this styrofoam um, I will also be cutting curved shapes and that's very easy to do like you see right there and even with the curved parts I will peel it back and then cut the remaining tendrils of <laughs> styrofoam. And once I've done that um, there are some uneven edges along the sides and I'll just cut those up cut those off so that the sides are are even it makes it easier to put a strip of paper, glue a strip of paper along the sides. And that's what I'm doing now. I cut a one inch strip of whatever the base color is that I want to use for the the base and then I put glue on it. I do it one strip at a time and, and usually I'll, I'll just cut the whole sheet into several strips so I'm not you know constantly cutting over and over again. I'll, I'll just cut them all ahead of time. But I glue each one and place each one one at a time. I don't put the glue on all of them because by the time I get one strip down the next strip is already pretty much dry. Okay then I glue it along the sides and it it doesn't stick very well to the styrofoam so I have to repeatedly press it and press it until it becomes tacky. Now I'm going to take that sheet of crinkled paper there and I'm just going to apply it to the part of the styrofoam that has the strip of paper glued onto it. Normally I put all of the strips of paper onto one piece of styrofoam that I use for the base, but for this demonstration I'm just going to do this much of it. So I put glue over just enough for one sheet of paper. I press the paper against it, flatten it thoroughly against the paper until it takes, until the glue becomes tacky enough that it sticks, and I get as many of the wrinkles out of it as I can, leaving some behind, and then I trim it around the edges, leaving a trim that's about uh, three quarters of an inch wide. Along the contoured edges, like that one that I'm pointing to, I score the paper so it folds more neatly over the edges. It doesn't fold very neatly over the curved sides. Um, the flat sides I just leave without scoring. I just cut the corners off. There was a sentence in there that I didn't finish. <laughs> I forgot what it was, but... Uh, you kind of get the idea just from watching this. And then I glue the edges, the trim as I call it, the flaps around the edges. I just put glue on those. And then I fold them over the, the sides, which already has the strip of paper around it. The reason I put the strip first is so that that trim that I'm folding down uh, has something to stick to. It doesn't work very well if you just have the trim without that strip of paper around the sides. And because the flaps have nothing to stick to, they, they just refuse to sit down. The strip Having the strip there is much better. Then I just uh, flatten it as much as possible. And then I'll do the other side. 